Welcome to the Civil War Collector Channel. My name is Steve Munson, and I am the Civil War Guru. And today we have in here for evaluation is a Model 1860 Naval Cutlass. Now this is a unique cutlass because I'm doing research on it, and I'm going to ask all the folks out there in in uh, YouTube land that we are trying to do some research on this because this is not the standard 1860 model. Now I'm going to hit a few points on it and if anybody out there has seen one of these types of swords, let me know and we'll talk about it here in just a second. From looks, in 1860, Ames Manufacturing came out with this particular type of sword for the United States Navy with the leather scabbard, full basket, and the cameraman will get over here. The grip, which the Ames grip, the under core of the grip is wood, then it's leather wrapped, and then it has the wire. Uh, the Ames is marked right here on both sides, and then it is also marked with the inspector's marks. Alright, now let's get to what I'm talking about. This particular sword is devoid of marks. The blade on this sword is hand hammered, which you would be led to believe that that is a Confederate made blade. The grip, the core of the grip, is a zinc or a pewter. And then the leather is wrapped around it, glued, and then the wire is put on it. Of course, this is a missing wire. And all the other components, the guard and, and the pommel, are a little different. The scabbard is the early model scabbard that came out, that Ains produced. It's that style, and we look at the back of it, the rivets are larger than on the Ames. And we'll get up that close on that too. So this is a unique sword, and I've seen one other one that had the leather off the grip, and this had the, the zinc handle showing, and it had an old museum tag where it came out of one of the old uh, a United Confederate Veterans Post up in Front Row, Virginia. It said Confederate used cutlass. So I don't know, and I'd like anybody that has any input on it to email me because this is one of the fun things of of uh, doing research is when you hit something that you don't understand, and you know there's people out there that have, that have handled some. It's kind of fun to compare notes. So if this was a standard 1860 naval cutlass, complete with a scabbard like this. You're looking at $800 to $1,250. But if this is a copy, and, and I, I, don't, I want to allege it to be a Confederate copy, and we'll find out over the, the, the next few months, that it, it would, of course, increase the value by double. But it is unique, and like, again, it's a hand hammer blade, you know, some things you can't see and go to pick up on the camera. Devoid of marks, other than rack marks, which rack marks are, are on all swords. And you got to remember, these swords were used up through. World War One, and then after after the wars, uh, Bannerman up in New York bought surplus and they sold them to different countries. And some people say it's a Bannerman put together sword. I don't think so. Uh, it's very unique. The cameraman will get the close ups. So if you got any input on it, you know, email the old guru. Love to have some input on it. And it's kind of exciting to have something that I I can't one hundred percent identify, and that makes fun for me. So from the old Civil War Guru, have a great day.